This is Lights Out, I'm Fasim Khan, joined by Tom Little. We're here at the Martin Murray Roberto Garcia press conference ahead of Saturday night's uh, event at the O2 Arena. Martin Murray goes in against the, sorry, Tom Little goes in against the undefeated Daniel Dubois. Tom, um, you had a lot to say, um, always bringing up the giggles and the cheers as always. Last time I spoke to you, yeah. you called him deodorant dodging Dan. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, so I, a wash. I think he took the air, <laughs> Well, looks cleaned himself up, didn't he? How excited are you for Saturday night? Listen, I'm buzzing for it. I'm ready. I've put my hard work in. Done. I've not left no stone unturned. So now it's just about going out and, and backing up what I say. But last time I spoke to you, you said he's been to a place that he's never been to a place that you've been to. The later rounds. Yeah. What is it that the younger fighters don't know about the later rounds? What is it that's diff? It's different? hard. That's <laughs> what they don't know about. It's hard. It's um, there's a point where you get where, especially the first time you go there, you. You start thinking, how much have I got in the tank? Can I press on from here? Especially if you're down, if you're if you're tracking. So um, yeah, he's just thinking, come out, bang me up. Listen, that's going to be the undoing of him. Listen, I've got him. When have you ever heard him say a word? He's beat. He's a beaten man. I, I, what everything I've done, everything I've done, I've done for a reason. Kogan's on porn up. <laughs> Kogan's on porn up. <laughs> <laughs> what are the weaknesses that you've exploited in Daniel's in the ring? What weaknesses do you see in Daniel's performances so far in his fights? Um, he's a good all-round fighter, just a lack of experience. Um, I think he's a bit too steady. He, he concentrates on power a bit. He, um, there's plenty of it. Not got fastest feet in the world, so mm. there's plenty of weaknesses to exploit. Mm. It ain't it ain't the weaknesses that are there. It's the weaknesses I'm gonna develop. I'm gonna bring to surface mm. things that I've I think, and it calls me mentally weak. Listen, I've never quit in sparring. I mean, obviously, every time he's been at a press conference, he's kept his cool. You know, he's never really raised his voice the way he did today towards yeah. himself. Do you think that? Kind of says that you've he's kind nervous. of got his He's a nervous boy. He looked like he let his eyes glassed up like he was going to start crying there at one point. Mm -hmm. So listen, well, listen, it's, it's all there for the. He's all there for the taking. Yeah. Saturday night is going to be my little plaything for 30 minutes or less. <laughs> Do you think Daniel is the strongest fight you've been in the ring with? Or do you think you've been no, in the ring? No, Bergovic would be the strongest fight I've been in. I've been in with some punches. Punches don't bother me. Listen, a punch is a punch. You know what you got with a puncher. Yeah. Right. It's the same as right. If you're in a company else full of thieves, you know to keep your eye on them. You know they're a thief. You know to keep your eye on where everything is. Yeah. But when you're in with a liar and a deceitful person, you don't know when they're telling the truth. You don't know what they're So I, I, I know what I've got with a puncher. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas a slick boxer, you don't know what you've got. You don't know. And I, listen, whether, whether they're taking note of that, I can punch a bit as well, so... Mm -hmm. Now, you've mentioned in the past before that, in your boxing career so far, you've not taken the easy way out. You've, you didn't want to fight journeyman. You fought the fight because you wanted to fight them. Yeah. Overall, are you happy with your career so far? And what is it that uh, you're my looking... My career could have been so much better. Yeah. I could have done so much better. Well, in, in some ways, uh, you might say I've put waste to a career, but I'll make up for the time that I, that yeah. I wasted. Um, you can always go back and kick yourself, but it's not about what you did, it's about what you do. And uh, I'm just looking forward, not thinking about what's behind me. What's the plan for 2018 if you can get past Daniel on Saturday night? What is it that you want to achieve? I'm looking no further than Daniel at this particular minute in time. He's my forefront of focus, and I plan on really hurting him yeah. badly. I want to just get your thoughts on Tyson Fury returned a few weeks ago, got the job done against Seth. Done, second. absolutely fantastic, brilliant to have him back. Um, yeah, just bigger, more devastating stuff to come. Give me your thoughts on a potential fight, a guy that's been brewing up that fight, a guy that wants that fight is Tony Bellew. Tyson Fury. Not Fury's worth talking about, is it really? It ain't yeah. gonna happen. They're on two different platforms. Yeah. I think. He's got Tyson's guy. I'm, I'm friends with both of them. I like both of them. So mm. it's just not. It, it, I don't think it's going to happen, though. I don't think the fight will happen. Was, is it really. a fight you'd like to see happen? 
Not really, if I'm honest. I like to see both of them fight and get paid well because they're both nice guys, both family men. But other than that, it ain't really anything. And there's not Lank in it, is there? It ain't, mm. so it, where's it leading? What's the fight leading to? I mean, it is a. I mean, obviously, you've got to respect Tony Belly for defeating David Hay twice, knocking yeah, him out twice. Listen, I mean, obviously, I, I respect that. I, I respect Tony Belly for much more than that. Uh, just uh, not beating a shot day. It's a day. test, though, for if Tyson Fury wants to get back on the world title contention. It yeah, is but there's much bigger, like, not bigger te test. I'm talking about size of opposition. Yeah. Like he got crucified for fighting a small guy the other day. Mm -hmm. Right. So why do, why would he do? Why did, would he go down the small route again? Like. There's Marius Wax. There's 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 plenty of other there's big heavyweights. There, there's uh, there's other routes to go down. Mm -hmm. If he he don't need to go down that one. All right. Okay. Well, Tom, listen. Uh, good luck for Saturday night. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Looking forward to a good old British tear up. Good tear. <laughs> Proper tear. Up. And we hope to catch up with you soon. Thank you, Tom. You want?